what's up youtube welcome back to my channel you already know who it is it's zoe and today i'm bringing you guys a pet peeves video so today i'm going to be telling you guys some of my huge pet peeves and some things that just irritate the soul out of me that people do Thank you guys for 800 subscribers. We got to 800 subscribers this morning. I really appreciate everyone that has been showing the, the constant love and the support and sharing me and just, you know, just telling your friends about me. If you do tell your friends about me, thank you so much for all of that. Last Friday, we got to 700 subscribers and I remember it because it was Senior Dish Day last Friday. So that's so crazy. We got 700 in a week. That is so crazy. So I know that 1,000 is gonna come before May. But thank you guys so much for all of that. I really appreciate all the love and support. And, you know, it's only up from here. You guys know what I'm doing when I get to 1K subscribers. I'm doing a huge giveaway. And I just figured out what I'm going to be giving away. And you guys are going to really love it. So, you know what to do. I don't have to say it every video because you already know what to do. Share with your daddy, auntie, your grandma, your uncle, their kids, their kids, and their kids. Share with everyone. And let's get to 1K. Road to 1K. We only got... 200 more to go let's get it man let's go i'm so excited i can't wait like you guys do not understand i'm so excited to reach 1k subscribers some videos that are on the way in the future is a unpopular opinions video you guys want me to do unpopular opinions so that's on the way that'll probably be the next video after this one and then a shoe collection video will be on the way i got some he i actually got some shoes yesterday that are bomb as ever like i couldn't find them in no stores so i had to order them off stock x and they came yesterday you probably know what shoes they are if you have me on snapchat you know what shoes they are but if you don't have me on snapchat you just go either way to the shoe collection video but this is a long intro so let's get right into this video remember like comment subscribe follow me on my social media and let's get right into this video Okay, let me know if you like this Versace robe. So my first pet peeve is people that pick on others because they're miserable. If you're miserable, why, like, what is the point of picking on somebody else just to make them feel down? You're not gonna feel no better. You picking on people is not gonna, you know, benefit you in the end, so why would you do it? I see that all the time, especially at school and on social media, and it's like really so, so sad. Like, why are you picking on someone because you're unhappy, because you're miserable, because you don't have a life? Like, so many people do that and like everyone talks about people but when you talk about somebody that's already down you kick them when they're down i mean what are you getting out of that i mean it's not cool my next biggest pet peeve is people who seek attention like, like some people they don't like get attention like that but if you like do certain things to seek attention like why are you doing that like it makes you look stupid i have i have been friends with so or and have known so many people that do things to seek attention to to, to make people want to be like oh are you okay and make people want to coddle them like no it's not cute at all like if you seek attention like for all every single thing like you need help because I just don't see why people seek so much attention like if you need all that attention around you then it's something wrong with you plain and simple like you're not a baby you're not a newborn infant that needs attention 24 7 if you're grown and you seeking attention then something wrong with you period it's just something is just wrong with you and that's just so irritating next is people who sneeze without covering I cannot stand when people sneeze or cough without covering their mouth like you're releasing all that germs and all them germs and all that nasty in the air for the next person to breathe like that's so disgusting like it does it does not take much to go like this to cover your mouth cover your nose like it does it doesn't take much so why are you not doing it and i be feeling like people do it on purpose like when you be in public people be <laughs> like come on now all these people and you gonna put your germs inside them so that you can put your germs in the air so they can breathe it are you serious that's just so disgusting to me and i cannot stand when people sneeze without cover sneeze or cough without covering their mouth like no next is a strong body odor we all have been around someone who just like just smells so bad like why do you smell so bad like have you ever heard of dove have you ever heard of irish spring have you ever heard of bath and body works like come on now like it doesn't make any sense why people just smell so so bad even in the winter time people just have a like bring a strong odor with them like why do you smell so bad like get in some water like hop in some water with some soap like i understand people go through things but 
if you're not going through anything and you coming out the house without showering or putting on deodorant, then it's something wrong with you. Cause I mean, deodorant is like one dollar, depending on what brand you get. It's like one dollar. So if you coming out and you smelling foul, then that's a problem, and you just don't come around me. My next pet peeve is people who drive under the speed limit. I know people like to be on the safe side, especially in places that have a high accident rate. I know people want to be safe on the road. I even want to be safe on the road. But if the speed limit is 45 and you go on 35, that's a problem with me. Because if you want to go in a slow lane, go in a slow lane. Like, get out the fast lane where people want to, you know, go 45 or 50. Like, don't be going 35 in a 45 lane, in a 45 mile lane. Like, that's just so irritating. Like, you don't even be, like... And what irritates me is when people drive slow and it's no car in front of them, like no cars anywhere. Like why are you driving so slow when it's no cars in front of you, when the speed limit is 45 and you're going 35? Why? Like let me know, why, why are you doing that? Like it's just so irritating when people do the stupidest stuff. Like I just, it's a pet peeve for, I had a lot of pet peeves, but I'm just gonna bring it down to like a few that really, really, really bother me. Next is when people don't use turn signals. I hate when people like get over at the last minute and don't signal before they're getting over. Like you're supposed to just automatically know what they're about to do. Like, come on now, it does not, it's not that much to go like this and go like that if you're getting over left or right. What is the big issue? I, it just makes me so mad when people do not use turn signals like in the back, like. The people behind you are supposed to know what you're trying to do, what you, what's your next move. Like, come on now. People just irritate me with driving, period. Especially if you're a reckless driver. Like, if the light is about to turn red and you don't make it in time, why would you try to run that light? Like, why would you try to run? Come on now. My last pet peeve that I'm going to share with you guys is people who stare for too long. I understand that if you're very pretty and stuff like that, good looking or whatever people are going to look at you but when you sitting over there staring at people like that's an issue like you can glance like you can take a quick three second look like but you don't have to stare looking like a creep because that is so just so irritating and so irky like what are you staring for like come on now like it's just so irritating like a lot of things irritate me but i like get so irritated when people stare for too long like you do not have to stare for a very long time honey like come on now but that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching and that's just a few of the pet peeves that i have i don't want this video to be too long because my videos be super long and i know you guys gonna be sitting through them but if you do sit through them you a real one but that's just a few. Thank you guys for 800 subscribers. I really appreciate it. We're almost to that 1K mark. We're almost there. And I really appreciate everyone who just supports my channel. Who just, you know, just supports me and shows all this love. Like, I really appreciate it. Love and positivity all 2019. I don't want nothing. If it's not positivity, if it's not love, you can move around. With it go around, just, you know... Because if you bring negativity to me, you're just going to get shut down where you are and then you're going to be mad at yourself. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Remember to follow me on all my social media. Give me to 1K subscribers. Share with everyone that you know. Share with your friends, your family. Share with everyone. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!